outfits, nigga. His outfits mm. is the worst. <laughs> Have you ever seen that. him dress himself? <laughs> he dresses like it's That nigga dressed like he's still in 2002. Not since the Dipset yeah. album. Oh, shit. <laughs> He dresses he like he's 2013, bro. It's bad. When that nigga did, when that nigga did the the battle with the locks and shit, when they had that joint, he came out with the with the NBA team logo jacket on with the do rag not tied up. I'm well, like, dog, did that because of the nostalgia at that. No, point, he though. fucking. That's how he dressed. All right, see now. I got yeah, but then the nigga didn't was in Cam prison. And him come on with some shit too. I don't know. No, no, they came Jim on. Jones they- dresses like a normal person. Yeah, yeah, on the, yeah. I know. I see Jim Jones. He's Joel Santana dresses like. A nigga I haven't who, seen Joel, but I mean, Dre watches. Joel's got locked up and all that shit. Listen, so. Joel's got locked what? up in two thousand and three, and then they, <laughs> this what happened to Joel Santana. He got locked up in two thousand and three. They let that nigga out in twenty twenty, and he just started wearing his old clothes. Like I'm not wearing those skinny jeans like these niggas. Where's my baggy jeans with the red monkey logo on the back? The red monkey logo. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad, yo. My 6XT and my fucking big gigantic leather jacket for all these fucking teams on it. Which was fly at one point in time. But not anymore. I'm trying I to haven't, I mean, when, I, oh, you about to put something up? Nah. Just I was it, trying to find dress. shit, but I can't. I got some shit. I made a whole meme about that nigga, man. Like, I got some shit to put Why? up. Why? Why are you making memes? Because I can't. I, I don't. Listen, he's you he's you else like he's you Jewels, though. Don't get it twisted. We just yeah, I, yeah. No, no, don't get it wrong. Like that that <laughs> Jewels is that John. I wish him and Wayne would have did. I can't like, feel my face. Yeah, they, they did the One didn't the they do an album together? Mixtapes ever. Yeah, that shit was fire. Son, like I ain't gonna get it twisted. Like Jewels is like he's legend. Like he is a legend. Let's like let's not like he is really a legend. Let's I know they like, oh, he's not a legend like 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 it's okay to like a person's nah, music, not but not their fashion. He's a, he's a legend, dog. I'm not gonna fuck it's okay to be like yo, your music's hot, but bro, what you got on? Oh, yeah, like, he's well known for not like he's well known for him being stuck. I think he's getting better as I just went through his Instagram. I said, Oh, okay, it's different from it what, what it was like six months ago. It was bad, bro. No, it, it was really bad. You like what you like, man. No, nah, was, why you can't like what you like. Nah, you can like yo. I, listen, Why? anybody can like what they like. Anybody. It, what? I mean, he might not just give a fuck, especially about what we say. Who are we? He don't. But he also is in the public eye. If you're in the public eye, then you are taking some type of account of how you dress. What about? Uh, are those pictures of LeBron wearing that dress? Are they real pictures, nah, they, or are they fabricated? Is that like an April Fool's joke? I've that's never seen him wear a dress. They got him with a, uh, it's almost like a pink, pink kilt. That's Photoshop, though. Is it? I'm just asking. I've, I've, I've been seeing it going around. For, I'll send it to you right now. I yeah, guarantee yeah. if I go on Facebook, yeah. it'll I pop seen, up. I seen it was Photoshop. That, no, I, I have it, though. I looked at it. She was Photoshop. I say, just go on, go on Facebook, go on your search bar, put LeBron James dress. I guarantee you, a photo will pop up. LeBron James dress. I delete that shit. You deleted the dress. I delete the camera shit I had. <laughs> That's the first I thing that pop up when I when mm-hmm. I put that and you put it on. I'm pretty you sure. Put it on photos. You put it on photos. It's there under the progressive John. <laughs> that progressive commercial was funny. LeBron did, but I mean, I don't mm-hmm. know if you'll be. Able, you want me to share it to your to the messenger? I'll share it. To Are you, you talking to me? Because I'm looking at. Yeah, it. Yeah, you. Oh, you're I'm looking, looking at, at it. it. Yeah, okay. and then I think it's Photoshop. Okay, I was asking. I, I mean, oh, it's just full of shit. you know, there's so much shit on the internet nowadays. I just, you You're know, speaking what I mean? about well, that's, yeah, that's the problem. It is the internet <laughs> and all this shit. All the people, it's like Wikipedia. It's like you can put anything you want up there, and it's fact. I was watching something earlier today with my wife, and we'll, we'll get to it. But I, I was watching something earlier today, and she started reading me like, um, like the oh, Megan Good, Megan Good, the. Beautiful, gorgeous, fucking just amazing Megan Good. Yeah. And you know how she got divorced, uh, like a I, th- I guess it was a year ago. And yeah. there was like a little piece done on her. And on this little piece that they were doing, they were like reading out comments underneath like her announcement of divorce. And niggas was like, Oh, this is what cheating gets you. No one ever said this woman cheated. No one ever said like people are literally just making shit up 
in their head and saying, oh, come back to God. She was like, I am with God. Like, I go to church. What do you? She was responding to these people. Like, people were just literally coming up with their own shit in their head and, and saying and putting that shit underneath her shit. The internet is the worst. That's, That's why I don't be, uh, I'll be on there just looking at shit. And I guess I'm what you call like a Facebook creeper because mm -hmm. I don't really like commenting on too much shit. I don't really like putting too much shit up because it's, it all just seems like it's there for a facade. People people are just on there. To, it's just too much shit that people share. And I don't mean like just pictures and shit. I mean like feelings. Y'all put y'all personal business out there. You know what I'm saying? The internet made corny niggas famous. I, don't, I mean, no, no, no. It's not, not just that, but it gives people opinions about shit that you There's shouldn't even about. give a fuck about or you don't know nothing about. Correct. Give us opinions. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they, they called us gay also, by the way. Who wow. called us gay? We're, we're gay. Why Which we one gay? are you? We All gay? of us. Why are we gay? Uh, what do we do? Because we were talking about that, um, the you know, the booty rapist. And we were oh. talking about how, like, we you know, I put a clip up and all these guys, all these guys are butt burglars or some shit like that. And it was like, ah. that's and funny. All I did was just laugh. All I did was the laughing emojis and say, butt, bur butt burglars. Okay. Like, nigga, you don't know anything about us. You don't, but that's that's the what the internet is. It's like the first thought that comes to my head, I love to insult people. I think I'm funny. These all these guys are gay. <laughs> I'm okay, buddy. funny. Okay, buddy. That's I'm fucking my dog. Yeah, I was about to say, usually, <laughs> that, usually the guy doing. who calls people gay on the internet is the guy who's gay. That's cool. It's all right to be gay, man. It's, it's okay to be gay also, by the way. It's 2023, baby. You be, you be gay. Let's stop, putting have, numbers, let's stop putting numbers on things. I got something to say about that, but I'll tell y'all later. All right, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we talking about we talking about fashion. Me and Dre was having this conversation today about fashion, dog, and this is how I'm gonna break this shit down. Mm. Recently, I told I showed Dre just bought this fly ass Nautica jacket, dude. Put it on, put fly. it up. I can't. I should put it. On. I should have put it on, but I, I gotta put it up. But I bought this fly ass Nautica jacket, dude. And I remember this jacket. It's it reminded me of the jacket that Ray and uh, Ray Quan, um Ghostface and Capadonna had on on the cover. I think it was the <laughs> Iron Man John album. And lying? I just couldn't. I knew I couldn't afford it then. I couldn't afford it. Like my lying? mother, I love it. Shot day. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My mother couldn't. My mother couldn't afford that shit. So recently, I seen the shit. I was in the store. I was in the Nautica store. I said, you know what? Seen this shit. I had the bread for it. I said, I'm mm. buying this shit. Like, I won this jacket as a kid. I couldn't afford it. This style is coming back. Like I have to own it. I just envision everything I'm gonna put with this shit. And I'm like, I can afford this shit now. Like shit I couldn't afford back then, I buy it now. Like I go in the stores. I ain't going in no Gucci and no shit like that. I'm not I, I can't afford Gucci. And even if I could, I don't think I would rock it because it's not me. But it's just certain shit I like. I like. Like I like the Nautica. I like the I like some of the Tommy Hill figure shit, the polo shit, some of that shit I see. Like, these are shits. This is shit I want to own. So now that I can afford it, like, I see myself going towards more so this fashion and shit, like the sneakers and everything. Like, that's where I'm at with fashion right now. It's like, I see shit that is fly that I like back in the days coming back. I, I have to own it. Like, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but it's like, I have to own this shit again. I I'm gonna put the jacket up though. When I when I man, when it comes to clothes nowadays, I I just buy what I like. But there's certain. I mean, you know me. I love sneakers, and that's probably was one of the drives were for me when it comes to buying kicks and shit. Is that I've always had like a taste for for sneakers. It's like I don't know something about it's something about sneakers that is like. They make everything complete. Like you can just wear something basic, like a regular sweatsuit, but you got the right pair of kicks on. It seemed like it set the whole thing off completely. And in my opinion, anyway. So I got a shit ton of kicks. But then it makes it easier for me to buy clothes because I don't have to worry about do I have something to wear with these clothes? I just buy whatever clothes I want now because I got some uh, there's it's inevitable that I got something that'll match it. But my clothes aren't expensive, bro. 
I mean, you know what I mean? At one point, I used talking, to. I don't know. At one point, at one point, I used to have uh, a subscription to uh, what was it called? Threadbees. Shit, yeah, this nigga got fresh. So. I pay. I mean, think about it though. How much do you spend on clothes a month for yourself? Nothing, nigga. <laughs> Nothing. You don't ever buy clothes. I buy clothes here and there. Nigga said a month. You think I buy clothes every month? I buy something every month. Clothes wise, like a shirt or some. You know what I mean? Maybe not jeans, but. A shirt or something where you gotta go somewhere. I mean, Kev takes trips all the time, so he's always got to buy some oh, type just, of different I outfits. I just read up. I just you know what I mean? Look, see, day. he got he got buy he got buy for a whole season ahead of time. Well, you know I mean, like I just I just bought some. You know them. Especially shorts. like if you got somewhere to go and you look in your closet, you just get tired of wearing the same old shit. I mean, you go out and you listen. Listen, don't get it twisted. I go to Target and buy a shirt. I'll go to Walmart and buy a shirt. I'll go. You know what I mean? We got places yeah, around in the hood. That we can go to buy clothes, you know what I mean? So it's not like I'm, but with Threadbeast, I was, the, my my subscription was like a hundred bucks or something like that, one hundred twenty dollars, and it was, it was like giving every month. That's a they would send me. Way. They were sending me everything though, like because yeah. you could kind of detail it to what you like. I was getting backpacks, sneakers, belts. I was getting. They'll send you jewelry, hoodies. Jeans, sweats. So I was getting something different every month, which was like, all right, cool. And then after a certain point, you're like, all right, I got enough. I, I mean, I work all week. So I literally yeah. wear the same clothes all week long. The only time I get to wear these clothes is on the weekend if I'm doing something. If I ain't doing shit, I wear the same sweats. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's the dad life or, or you know, what I mean, the, the, nah, the, the, the married the life, life of being home. But when you're home and you ain't doing shit, you, I got a certain, I got a certain certain set sweats it's like two three pair of sweatpants that i just yo i'm home these are my sweats i wear when i'm home you mm-hmm. know what i mean and and that's that i wear them shits four days in a row sometimes you know what i mean because i ain't did nothing but sit on the couch or chill in the house and you know what i mean i take again. them off yeah go to bed it, i put them on just so i could be comfortable around the crib maybe yeah, take a run to wow wow or something you know what i mean but other than that i, I mean that's shit that's I own exactly like up. eight pair of jeans to ten pair of jeans. Yeah, I got more sweatsuits up. than Credit. anything. You got jacket. the jacket? My, Let yeah. me see that jaw. I ain't got it on, but the shit right there, Capadonna got in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a jacket that like that, too. A little uh, tank so bad. This nigga, I was a woohead dog with that, that, yeah. that right there. Them jaws were fired, though. I, they came back out. Norlika got one. Is, my shit is... Yeah, they're boat jackets. They're jackets for boating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sail jackets. Yo, but that's what... Yo, I bought that. And I bought, I seen the Nautica shorts, the the the, the blue, they blue joint with the little anchors on them shits, like they like the blue. Oh, so shorts. you, oh, oh, so you yeah, stuck in the summer, huh? Yeah, I mm-hmm. said, you know what? Yo, white I people, will... yo, uh, white people in fucking uh, that be sailing all the time, looking at you like this nigga late. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga late. My you... father bought me that jacket yeah. when I was six. Zachary, man. When I, was when I was starboarding, I caught my bro. first. <laughs> bro, the polo, I caught my first the polo hammerhead. One, that's the polo <laughs> like, joint. The polo jacket hammers? like that. The polo joint that version. That shit is like two hundred. I'm yeah, going to get it. I, I figured it'd be it's more. Probably now. more. I mean, think about it. Polo sweaters are like one fifty. Two hundred when I was a kid. I went out to the polo store to. To, to, at the polo outlet to get something because to go to a party with, and I'm like, you know what? I ain't trying to spend more. I'm gonna get a set, but I ain't really trying to spend more than like 150 dollars on a set, like the whole shebang. You know what I mean? And I mean that's, but that's how you gotta look at. That's yeah. That's what, when I walked in there, I was like, man, is that a t-shirt? That's half of my budget. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nah, yo. I took my ass right around the corner to the Nike outlet, and it wasn't no better. But, but bro. <laughs> it wasn't no better. Saying, okay, like, like this, you ain't gonna buy like I, Nike, I, Nike Tech. Yeah. Talking to the mic, my, guy, my guy. Yeah, Nike, Nike Tech's Tech? like one hundred and seventy dollars for the whole set. Yeah. One seven. Yeah. But what the fuck do we go to work for? Like I, that's why I feel though I go to work for. I buy like I make sure all my kids they got all they go shit. to work for what you need, yeah, not yeah, what like, you want. Nah, my kids, everybody taken care of. If everybody's take care of, they got what they need, and I see. Like if I go on a polo, I see that jacket for two hundred, and I know two hundred is not going to kill me. Like I got it, I know that I'm going to wear that jacket two or three times here in the spring for probably the next five or six years. Like I'm going to wear, I'm going to get my two hundred dollars out of this shit. Mm-hmm. I just could, like how I look at fashion now. Yeah, it's some shit like I just wear regular shit all the time. 
But it's some shit if I know I'm going somewhere and I want to look fly and I got the money to spend on this shit. Oh, I spent 300 on a jacket. That shit is in the closet for the rest of my life. I'm taking that shit out and putting it on because I'm going to make sure that I'm going to get my $300 worth. I got a jacket. I spent $300 on it. I've had that shit for like a decade. Bruh. But it's, I mean, it's a winter jacket. You know, winter jackets ain't a yeah. good winter jacket. Oh, yeah. It's, I bought a Colombian. Yeah. It'll never go until until it gets whole, like, until it's like shitty, it's holy. I can't fix it. It starts looking like shit. Until that day comes, that shit's getting rocked. I kept all my motherfucking jackets back in the day. My mom bought me my good jackets back in the day. I ain't buy a good one since. And back then, them shits was like 220, 240. I had a fucking polo coat. That I tried to reemerge out of the out of the basement with at one point, I'm living over here, and I had a Woolrich, and I'm not going to go into you know all that shit. But if you had a Woolrich, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. Them shits was expensive. Yeah. Peacoats, a good peacoat. It's a different good peacoat. No, yeah, I mean like different. that's what that's what you were going for. Like back then, peacoats, Woolriches. Uh, remember the leather jackets, the real leather jackets though, the thick Johns. I want to get back when we were younger. Them I shits just, was I, lit. Said, I just bought a Colombian John. A Columbia jacket. That shit, I called it on sale. Like I call, I bought it at the end of the winter time. The shit was like one eighty. Mm. By the time I got to the cash register, it being on sale and everything, I paid like eighty nine dollars. But the shit, okay. I put it on. I put it on. It was like I put it on when I went to the Poconos and shit. I rocked that shit. I'm. I was sweating in the bitch because this line is like it got real goose feathers in it, and then this line with like this. Like the you know the aluminum blankets they people put on to stay warm, like the uh, it's lined with that on the Trauma inside. Trauma blanket is what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Sticker got, whatever. Sticker got the yo, jacket lined in trauma blanket. Yo, you <laughs> look at yo. I bought my jacket and had Teflon inside, bro. But it's <laughs> lined with that shit inside. <laughs> Nigga, Fresh I from cannot the wear that jacket. I can't wear that jacket in my car. Like only time I could wear that jacket is like like four degrees outside. And even when yeah. I got it on, I don't feel shit, but I would still be sweating. Yeah. But it's like, yo, so you I put that I, jacket I, on when you train. But the shit fly. Like I got this <laughs> shit now. Like I'm gonna go. I gotta go to North Jersey because all my hats is gone. As you see, I got this shit right on that my New York hat. I gotta go re up on some new Knicks hats, and they don't sell good Knicks yeah, hats so down in South Jersey. You don't know where to go. That's all it is. But I'll show oh, you. My nigga, you're so old. Yeah, look, at why, I, look at how you plan to go get you. Yeah, I gotta go buy a whole bunch yeah. more Knicks hats. I got they make hats. only Knicks hats. Okay. <laughs> they, they, they make the fly the flyer Knicks hat. You don't want no Mets hats. You don't want no Yankees. No, hats. No, 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 Yank, I do want a Yank. I want uh, the Yank. You, and want I want the Yank? Jo- you want no Giants? I want a Locks hat. I want the Locks hat, the LOX hat that they, the Jones that ones they be wearing, like the blue. Jones. I would wear that, whatever that yeah. is. I I, that's just a hundred and it's just a hundred like fifty dollars for that. I hat. would pay them, and and JD Kids got coffee, and I want to buy his coffee also. I would pay yeah. them because I love them. It's I love the Locks, so that's what I'm saying. Like the jacket, the the John I bought the Columbia got the fur on the back. It's the big like New Yorker style John. so I gotta get a nice. Like yeah. Yank fit or the locks fit the joint and fit it to go with this shit. But that's where I, but you gotta say that's where I'm at, yo. Like that's where I'm at, like with my fashion. Like I'm the complete opposite now. If I want to go on my fashion goals, but you can go ahead. I thought you were done. Go ahead. No, no, I'm saying that's what I'm oh, at. Like, fashion the Tim's, goals? Tim, like the temp, like I'm still in the Tim shit. Like I still want to dress like oh. I did a couple years back with this. There's but with this with this era's fashion, like I still like my jeans is a little fitted, but the, I rock the Tim's. I'm not. I'm never get. You never catch me in no Uggs, son. I'm sorry. I'm going to I'm rock Tim. Uggs. Niggas wear Uggs. Niggas we rocking Uggs. If you 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 you're, you're who what you refer to is even old. Ooh. No one wear those either. What niggas wear now when they feel that was years ago. Time. And, what and niggas the Uggs, wear now they feel and the Uggs. Hold on. And the Uggs. They Crocs. They were wearing, and the uh, yes. They do. And the Uggs that they was wearing was the, like, polo boot Uggs. Nah, niggas. Is nah, wearing... nah, they was wearing Uggs, Uggs. My, my oh, I don't know who y'all, I don't Uggs. know who y'all, I don't know who y'all referring to. That. It, uh, yo, I think that's, and I think that's more like a younger thing. Uh, I mean, not necessarily, not necessarily younger, but I mean, it don't it's be... cultural. And yeah. then it and then it gravitates to another culture, you know what I'm saying? When they start, oh, them Jones is dope. And then, and it's kind of like it's... how it's kind of like how you take over a situation. Dunks was always fire. 
KB yeah, but don't. bro, you didn't wear them. You didn't wear them, and I don't want to back in the day us out because we do that shit too much. But escape back in the day, they were the ones you would pass by if you were a fucking kid in the early two thousands or late nineties. <sighs> you would pass by the dunks and go to <laughs> Air Force Ones. Air Force Ones had all the colorways and shit like that. Now the dunks are something that oh we gotta get them Jones and they selling them for some obscene amount. And they were skater shoes because they was wide. You didn't want wide shoes. You wanted the, you wanted the Air Force Ones because they had the, the, the you know, the, the small. Cut. You think of more like Vans and DCs. No, them dumb shits are wide. Nobody dunks wore dunks. Who the if fuck? You wore, they, they, you yeah, wear I'm not saying yeah. that they weren't. They weren't. Yeah, I'm not know? saying that they were. They were heavy on our culture, but they they just, dunks. Dunks have always been a sign of fashion. It's just it's cultural. You they're know what I'm saying. That's why they, they and they and they never cost more. Like if you're buying them, re, if you're buying them retail, they're only like a hundred bucks, a hundred and twenty bucks because they're just they're regular style sneakers. It's just so many of them. I think I I, I personally feel like they were bigger in like Europe and shit like that than they were Probably. over here. When it, and then you know how you go somewhere and people start bringing shit back yeah. and shit starts getting big. But that like when you I have dunks. I, I got a few pairs. Dunks and they're not they're not really a wide shoe. They're they're Air Forces, except they're just a different style. You know what I mean? Like so, they're they're the same width. It's not nothing big about them. They're just a different style of Nike. Like, <clears throat> when you go back in the day when we were getting kicks, sneakers, we were buying kicks of basketball players that we were influenced by Jordan, Stackhouses, Iversons, shit like Jordan. that is what we was into. <laughs> and we were getting running sneakers, it was Air Maxes. You know what I'm saying? Or or and we was getting uh Air Force Ones and we was never getting mids. It was only the lows or highs. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 was it just lows and mids, mids and not highs? Yeah. We we lows did mids, but New York only time highs. we did only time we did highs is if they were the highs. Rashid Wallace's. Nah, I did highs all the time. <clears throat> you got the Rashids. That's why no, I didn't have highs. Rashid. I used to have the black, I used to have black, I had with black straps and... on the back. You would get no. the ones with the you would want with the straps that would hang off the back and it would look like a, a no, circle those are almost. No, nah, no, nah, there was no, there was a Miz got the strap in the front that go across. Kev used to get the ones that would wrap all around the, way around the, back, the yeah, sneaker, around the back, yeah, but he yeah. would never wrap them. He would always have them hanging off the back of his sneaker. I had them, I had so the, it looked I had like the a sheets. tail. I had the sheets, but also I had the other highs where I had to tuck my um, I had to tuck my strap behind my behind my tongue, so my strap would never be like hanging off, like drooping, like that's the Miz. Those are the mids. The one where they came in front and you could strap them down. Those are mids. Yeah. I had we had the mids. The ones where you had the straps that was all the way home. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. So I did have. I bought a couple of highs. It was like a, it was like a nylon got the, strap. Got the Rashids. Yeah. I remember because you used to always have the big nigga on the on your sneaker. I, I had the joint. I, rock, <laughs> yeah. I rocked this shit. I rocked this shit off the back. Like I didn't tie. Yeah. I didn't tie my shit all the way around the front. I let the yeah. hang off the back. I was just something I seen. Like I seen niggas had them shits on, so I had to get them. Like I would get them now. Like it's certain shit that I rock. Like, I just bought a pair of fucking Vapor Maxes for two hundred. Good sneaker. Yeah, really good. But sneaker. it's like I. That's where yeah, I'm man. at with my fashion. Like, like far as like some of this shit, like going out now. Like, like I gotta get a couple of more suits. Like I bought a sports jacket. Like I'm kind of into that stuff, but not all the way into it. Like, but right now it's like my fashion now is like. I have to own say I could. What's your fashion, Dre? We already talked about mine. I mean, I got goals like my right right now, and I always fuck them up. Uh, I got fashion goals with my shit because I just I ain't there yet. I'm still working on my body and stuff like that. But I am more creeping into more of the creeping more into like the formal wear, if that makes sense. Yeah. And and the biggest reason and I was telling Kev about this the other day is that like. I worked at many jobs where just like Kev said earlier, you wear work clothes all week, mm -hmm. all week. That's the big reason why you was like, yo, you don't buy clothes every month. I was like, nah, because literally all I was doing was just going to work, spending a little bit of time. Like I wasn't even going outside really. Like we wasn't hanging out and shit like that at one point. So yeah. I would literally go to work, stay home. Didn't feel a need to buy clothes all the time unless there was an event we had to go to. So me, I'm tired of wearing Clothes that don't fit right, you know, clothes that make me look sloppy, clothes that like t-shirts and shit like that. I want to wear, even for work, I want to wear the the polos, the fitted clothes that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I want to wear the khakis or the, or the chinos 
and um, and shoes. I have a real big affinity, I guess, for for like shoe shoes and the way they look and yeah. what outfits they go to and what colors go with what. So I'm more in that space. Like Kev was with me. I was making fun of myself the other day. I said, bro, I bought these fucking Jordans <laughs> last year at this point. Um, and them shits have never been worn. Not because I don't like the Jordans, but because I don't have the right outfit to go with them. But they have literally never been put on my feet. Not only that, but you you don't have the, not you specifically, but when you buy shit and you got, your time is consumed, you don't have the time to wear them shits. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you don't have the opportunity, I would say, to wear them shits. Because if you're not going somewhere, you feel like you want to, Get get a whole new outfit for it because that's basically what you'd have to do, right? Have that's to weird. actually go find something for them to wear, which wouldn't really be hard. What you got the, the what was it, the olives or the green beans? That's what you got. Whatever you call them, <clears throat> flecked and they have green, yeah, green in it. And yeah. that, it's not that I couldn't find. It's not that I can't go get anything to wear with them, but I much rather prefer like when I go on, bro. When we um, which I hope to do when y'all come down here. So let's uh make this happen. When I go on the boat, bro, I want to wear boat shoes. I don't want to wear sneakers. I don't want to wear boat shoes. Like that's the kind of thought process I'm on. Boat shoes, chinos, and a nice fucking no post- socks. That's what Dre trying to get no into. Socks. The yeah, no, no socks. socks. In the in the in the in the flyest <laughs> cologne I could find. That's why possibly. my older brother told me he liked wearing Uggs. No lie, he, he was like, he he first I was like, yo, you wearing no fucking Uggs? Bro, bro, you he was like, you ever put them shits on your feet? And I'm like, <laughs> no. He was like, bro, you don't have to wear socks. You just put them shits on. It's got the fur in the inside all you do is walk he said you put socks on your fur gonna be wet from <laughs> your sweet your feet sweating all crazy but i mean yeah boat shoes that's but that's a whole different and i and i like where your mind is going because i like getting dressed up too like i I got dressed up for the daddy daughter dance with me and my youngest i was proud and bro. it felt good to just because I, I got clothes in the background but i wanted to get something new just for her like she had a new dress i wanted to get something to compliment what she was wearing but the going out and shopping and shit like that and looking at shoes and shit, like it's a different feeling than you copping your regularly. I'm going out to chill with the homies where I'm just going to put some jeans and a hoodie on. Like I can go to a regular urban store and just find clothes in 10 minutes. Right. When I'm going shopping for to get fly. formal wear, bro, I was I went to like four different stores. And even then, like it, I'm in there for like 30 minutes each store, like. Picking out, all right, do I like this? Let me try this on. You know what I mean? Because it's the way it's the way you feel and the way you look simultaneously with the fit. You know what I mean? And it comes together in a whole different way. You get a whole different ambiance and feeling about yourself. So, and I kind of, I, I would kind of want to get into a work experience where that's what we do is we get dressed up and on a daily basis. And then when I'm dressing down, it's my regular fly clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like my work clothes is oh I got a line of uh, casual I mean a line of formal wear from suits to to khakis to all different types of shoes and they were like oh the only time I wear them sweatpants is when I'm literally sitting in the house and everywhere else I could wear my you know my what I consider my casual nice clothes that shit man uncomfortable I can't wear it depends it depends yo. on how you get you your fit it depends I, I, I get fit I get fitted for my shit I just don't. I'm not a casual. I've never been a casual dude. I'm not going. To, I, I can't. Ever you mean you've never been a? You mean the other the other way? No, I can't. No, I, formal. Yeah, I formal. can't. I've never been a formal dude. Oh, so that ain't everybody can, though. Yeah, I can. Like, I can. Know, I know what to pick. Like, when I go in the store, I know what kind of formal shit to get. I got a couple. Like I said, I've been in Nordica heavy with the with the with the button ups and shit. Not even the three piece button. I'm talking about the full like dress shirt and everything. Formal shit. It's just not me. Like, I like to wear it. Like, if I can, I, I wear it. But me, do like, I want to get me a nice, it might sound corny, but I want to get me, it ain't even a tracksuit, a nice Nike, the nice Nike join the whole get up. Like, I'm, exactly. and you know what I'm saying? I want to get that with some nice, with some nice Air Maxes on my feet, a nice fitted. Like, I want to feel comfortable. Like, that. that's, that's a me. super relaxed fit, though. Yeah, yeah, it's relaxed. Like, I like I think, it. I think it's. I like the Nike, you shorts. might not have found the right formal wear for you because it doesn't always have to be it a three piece. It doesn't it doesn't always have to be something like super uptight? You know what I mean? I there's like that. there's lax clothes in the formal wear that you can wear that kind of. I, you know what I, I mean? I, I, I had this. You, can, I had you this might have a closet. little polo sweater on with a khaki, or you might have a little polo button yeah, up. You gotta get a, a resize. Put a little sweater around this 
around his around his uh neck with the tie Nitty. on, oh, had the Carlton sure. going on. Nah, it, <laughs> listen, it, I think I think what, it, it's not for everybody. To me, I'm ready for that. It's not it's not something that I feel like uh, everybody is going to do because not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody even wants to do the work that might involve you doing that if you had to go to an office building every day with with formal clothes. A lot of people are like, nah, that's not my thing. Me, I'm actually like, I want that. I want to be able to look my best most of the time because I spent so much time looking like shit, walking in people's houses with the company I work for. Even if you got your size, it still fit bad on you. My homie, my D, that he was on the podcast, my, my homie, he he kind of pulls that out of me. Like I get I get my thought process as far as fashion from him. And I'll go into that for a second. But as you know, like he he got muscles and shit like that. Like he's one of those guys. Even he looked bad in the clothes. The pants are his size, and he's a small dude, and they're big as fuck. They like parachute pants on us. You know what I'm saying? Your, your shoes are usually dick because they are your work shoes. Your shirt is all, even though it fits, it doesn't look right. They make you tuck it in. You look, you look foolish. So to me, I want to do the opposite. I want to wear fitted clothes, stuff that looks good on me so that when I walk around, I feel good. I feel yeah. confident and shit like that. My homie, that nigga, he going to make you, f for me, he makes me feel bad. I feel like I'm underdressed when I go out with this nigga. Period. Uh, yeah. And it also because leaves a, it makes you feel better because of the impression you leave on someone else just walking past. Like you feel good and then somebody else look at you and be like, yo, you looking good, which another confident booster. Like, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you, you know like what I'm saying? I took the time. You like them feelings. Right. You like that. But that's, that's exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like when I, when I go out with my homie, he he's the guy, he wears the, when he came down here and we had a similar outfit on, but he made a couple changes and I'm like, you know what? That's a that's a nice change. Like, I'm not saying like, yo, I want to dress like you, but seeing him makes me say, yo, I got to step my shit up a little bit. Like, that's how I see it. Like, like I had on a, a pink polo shirt, which I think Kev saw me wear before. And I had on some jean shorts and I had on my white Air Maxes. But he had on like a pinkish shirt, like some uh, chinos and like um, these like slip ons. And I'm like, that's a nice little twist that I wouldn't have thought about. But I said, I like the way it looks. And it was a similar outfit. To me, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. It's just grown man, grown man shit. Like, I'm we about to be 40. So yeah. it's like, you you do have to kind of, you can be fly with it and comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But not everybody wants to make those changes. You ain't got to. You know, nah. it's different kinds of fly. I, I think you can pick and choose your battles, too. Not every place you go to got to be like that. You know what I mean? Especially if you know you're going somewhere where... You can get a little bit more dapper than usual. You kind of throw a little twist in it. You know what I mean? See how it goes. Sometimes you just got to take a challenge or or try to do something a little different when it comes to fashion and see how it goes. It may not work out. You'll know. You know what I'm saying? But if you feel good about it, it ain't if really. It, that's what I'd yeah. be telling everybody. Like, I don't care about what people think I got or if they like it or not. You know what I'm saying? If I like something and when I put it on, it feels good to me. I'm aware, you know what I mean? If somebody else be like, yo, I like the way that, then cool. It, it, it's just more of a confidence builder, but if somebody say something negative, I'll be like, nigga, you ain't buy it, you know what I'm saying? You ain't you don't gotta worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, this is what I like, and case closed. I think I'm in like a, I ain't more of the casual, I think I like more of the, the like the, the sports look almost, like, you know. Athleisure. Athletes, yeah, yep. like that's the type that's of shit I'm on. Like, I like that. Like, you know what I mean? In the summertime, I like a nice pair. Like, I'm mad they're going away from the high top sneakers. I like a nice pair of high tops, with some socks. With you know what I mean? They're going away from. They going to, more basketball players are, are going low top. All these sneakers nowadays is low tops. It's crazy. Yeah. Even the new, even the newer Lebrons. I'm looking for to buy new Lebrons. They all low tops. Like, damn, I got away from the high tops and shit. Like, now I got to go buy retro shit. So when they redo them, like, that's more the shit I'm in. Like, I like I like this, this the shorts, the, the sweat shorts and shit like that. That's why I'm trying to get back in shape. I like the white, the, the fitted white tee with a white bead underneath of it. A nice fitted on. A nice watch. Maybe a nice, not even a real chain. Let me ask you. Be, just something crazy. What's, what's your, what's your, what do you normally wear to, like, a graduation? Oh, gra my daughter's graduation. Oh, I'm my going to oh, graduation, but go ahead. Oh, graduation. Oh, I'm going to go buy. I'm going to the store to go get something extravagant. Yeah, I'm going to have a nice 
button up. I'm going to have a nice belt that's around my waist. Nice slacks, good looking shoes. Maybe I like what's it the the brown the la the leather that looks like it's a little beat up with on the uh, on the tips and shit. They're like a little darker brown, and I got the belt that matches that middle. Maybe I'll I'll get a nice watch to match that. Not even I don't got to be all jeweled out. Maybe it's just a band, a leather band with a, a, just a nice watch that you can see. It. That would feel good though, right? Yeah, that feels that feels good when I'm going to that type of event. to something formal. Yeah, I, that's formal. why I was. Yeah, that's all I was trying to understand. Oh, yeah. Well, I, yeah. yeah. I, I'm not wearing the, the, the Nike John where I'm... If I'm going to wear former, it's former. But if mm -hmm. I'm just going out to have a good time, it's probably some nice sneakers on my feet. It's probably a, more of a sports fit or it might be some khaki. It might be some khaki. Uh, like, I've seen a pair of khaki joints that... Uh, i seen a pair of khaki pants with the cuffs at the bottom. I'm like, damn, if I had them shits, nice pair of high tops on, huh? Nice shirt, like, I'll be sh like a brown shirt, something brown in the middle, whatever to match the khaki, but it's whited out, a little fitted on around that, on the round of where the muscles is at. <laughs> I get that popping, like I'll be good with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm cool with that look. I'm not so much with the casual. I got casual shit. I buy casual shit. Like I just had to tell my brother the other day. I'm like, yo, bro, formal. Yeah, buy the boat shoes, don't wear the socks. I think he bought an all white linen outfit. I said, All right, you got the lint all linen out. Like you can't you gotta get some shoes that you don't put no socks on. Right. Roll it like I ain't gonna tell you get the chancletas, but roll it. <laughs> ain't that no, I, no, I'm not doing it. Get your said, toes out. Hold on, oh, let me let me stop this. Let me stop this. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can wear the chancletas. You gotta wrong. tell me what this whole thing is about. Yo, you can't wear the flip flop. Tell me where does that come from? That just seems dumb. You, you, we not poppies. Poppies wear chunk like that. So that's why they call chunk. Why you gotta be a poppy to? Or you? Or you gonna be African? Or you gonna be African? You gonna be an African? He gonna be straight with the African, John, the African homie. Well, what's I'm wrong with y'all now, man? Because I remember I wore like flip flops with the with the John in the middle, and with the tongue with the with the uh, with the divider, they call it, yeah. <laughs> right? And niggas like ha ah, put put the laughing emoji and shit like that. I'm like. I'm trying to understand, like, is yeah. it because they're feli? Like, like I'm they weren't feli, but I'm saying, like, what is the motivation behind that? Other than I got yo, you're not feet. supposed to wear them, and I'm like, why? I got bad. They got trying bad to say feet. that niggas know. ain't supposed to have their feet out. <laughs> it was just weird. I just told my bro. I said, say, bro, but, but I said, get this. Ain't nothing wrong. It's, it, de it depends on where you at and what you doing. Like you got, got you ain't for like you, you had a niggas. if you had a Sixers game. You ain't. I mean, I wouldn't. You know, mm. what, what you got your feet out at the game for? You know, yeah, it's soda and shit. You know what I mean? But but if you on the beach or you out at a at a party that. You can get it off. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I just you know think I see niggas Especially with that shit on. I think there's like a photo shoot some with I don't know. I told my bro. I said, bro, get the. I said, bro, get the slip on boat shoes. Like we're gonna be on a boat. Just gotta you make got sure your linen. feet is right. You got the linen. My feet ain't right. My shit fucked. So I said, get these on. You slide these on. No socks. You wear them joints. You'll be straight. Like you're cool with that. Like that's cool. You got the all linen and shit. You you're good because we're going to an all white party. I just got some regular, like I, I dressed up before for all white party. I had the whole slide on all white shoes, white jacket, like a white, like a all white sports jacket, white knee, like V neck shit. This one V necks was hot, the V necks underneath and all that shit. So this year I said, I'm just regular, John. I just bought some all white Levi jeans, a Levi shirt, just something regular. Uh, I think I got a bucket, a, a it's like a a bucket hat is white with like the black palm trees on it. I got okay. and I got I got the black vapor maxes to go with. I probably got I think I got a all black watch. And so it's gonna be all it's gonna have hints of black, but it's gonna be whited out. You know what I'm saying? But most of it's gonna be whited out. So I was like, I didn't want to like I wanted to be comfortable. Like I like last time I went to that shit, I couldn't dance, feet slide, and my feet was hurting at the point. It's <laughs> so like that's why I don't wear like I don't wear shoes. You know my feet hurt. Dance, I, like man. I you try to get I dress shoes. Dance. Like I got certain dress shoes that got like the comf comfortable pad at the bottom of them. But I, I gotta know. have like I, like I got my feet is bad. Like I got bad feet. I can't wear shoes too long. That's why I don't get you gotta get the cushion long. in them. John. Even when I you get the boat shoes, leather so, leather sneakers. That's what I want. I want a couple pairs of them. You ever seen the leather sneakers with the white sole? Like they might have brown leather sneakers, white sole. Like they regular sneakers. They're not. They're not cheap either. But they're regular sneakers. 
that you can wear like they're they're like dress more more casual the, the casual that you mean like it's casual but you I can see wear it with formal wear i, I, I see what you're talking about now yeah those those is like they, they sell them at banana banana republic yeah like something yeah. like that i could fuck with them with some formal wear and still like make it look relaxed and them shit's 200 some of them shit's is 250 yeah they're not cheap 40. <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. I dare see if I come come anywhere and knows I dare a motherfucker to be like, oh, what you got? I'm gonna look at you like, first of all, no, I don't care about your cost. My thing is, if you can't dress, you can never come to me and tell me what I got on is is whatever. You can't fucking you don't even know how to dress. Like, you, you 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 get that shit off like like bro like I bought a similar outfit to like you had on. I think we went to a graduation. I bought a similar outfit years later. I'm like, damn, like Trey wore this shit a lot better than I'm wearing this shit. Like, I don't like how I look in this shit. You like, gotta put your own I'm twist on shit though. <laughs> nah, nah, you had like a regular, you had a regular joint. I think it was at when you came to my grandmother's funeral, you had the, the regular fit on. Like, I think I had something different on, but you had like a regular joint. And I'm like, damn, I think I bought something years later, like similar to that style. And I'm like, this shit don't look right. That's why I bought like the shit I bought now. Like I'm like, all right, I can see myself in there. Like I gotta lose in two weeks a gut, which I can get rid of because it's just like this gut I got right now is like it's a, get rid of a gut in two weeks because it's not a it's not it's, need to make it's a, a video. It's a blow. It's a blow. It's not a. It's not like I'm a big, my crib and do whatever you're doing. Big, it's not like a gut. gut it's yeah. not like a, <laughs> It's like it's not a gut in the gut. It's like it's like it's wasted in there. Like if I eat, if I cleanse myself, do it. Like, It'll go. It'll. It'll. It won't. It'll still be a gut, but it ain't no poking out shit. I get what you're saying. You're not bloated. Because yeah, I'm not bloated. Blue. Yeah, we blow. So I can flush this shit. Like if I ate healthy and flush it, I'll be all right. Because I'm still like I'm. By the type, the type of work I do, and me still working out. Just the type of work I do. Like I'm literally throwing a fuck. I'm literally every day. I got a chain that literally is probably. If I say this motherfucker's eighty fucking pounds, I'm not lying. This shit is eighty fucking pounds that I gotta carry and I gotta wrap up and throw every stop I get to. And I gotta throw this bitch over a truck. Like I'm literally curling this chain every day. I'm like, God damn this chain. Why is this chain so fucking heavy? But that's what I'm doing every day at work. And I'm walking. I'm jumping up and down. I'm climbing. I'm still moving. So I'm still active. So that's why I like, but that's why I get rid of this. I still have a gut. I still got this 40 year old nigga's gut. I heard you a chain hang low to a while. That's as we yeah. Say, I, yeah. I was trying not to. Yeah. But like, far as like my, like you talking about work clothes, like I like to be comfortable. I wear work clothes all day. I got like my pants is like slacks and shit. I got to wear a whole uniform. Like I hate that shit. So I like the sports fit. I like this. I like how I look in sports fit. I'm a. I get that. Taller dude, you know what I'm saying? So I can get the shit off. Like I see dudes, I'm like, damn, like that's a nice ass, like that's a nice ass sweatsuit. Like I want that shit. Wait, let me ask you a question, and I want you to finish. Did you ever find any joggers that actually can go longer than what you said that they could? Remember, you said it. I'm just I had, asking, you. I'm bro. Asking. I had, I, 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 I got like special with them. Like I, I want, I bought a Levi's jacket, and I bought it from the store. I got a Levi's jean jacket. I went on a website to see if they had like a bigger size. That was the biggest size. It don't go no bigger than that. Like even when I bought my Nautica jacket, like I bought the biggest size they had. Like joggers that I would have to get would have to be like like for NBA joggers. Like like six. I'm. They don't make joggers my size. Even my sneakers. I wear fourteen. They sell. They sell out two pair. They're gone. That's it. I can't buy no more. They like yeah. We only ordered three in. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't order the shit to keep it on stock. So, like, I would have to order it off, like, Nike. I order my shit off, like, a Nike outlet, like the Nike, actual Nike store. Like, I would have to buy, like, a 3X Slim. You know what I'm saying? Because if I buy it too big, it's fucking it's baggy. Yeah. Yep. Or 4X. So I, I get what you're saying, though, man. 4X Slim. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm big, but I'm not, like, fucking obese in yep. that shit. Hate to Not say, exactly I mean, it's twenty. This is you can't say shit. Niggas get offended nowadays. But like, listen, niggas, like niggas is it is is a thing called obese. That's why the word is made. It's just a word. It don't mean who you are as a person. It's just a fucking word to describe something like a fork in a cup. Okay, I don't know why people take words so serious, but uh, it's just to describe something you visually can see. But yeah, so I got I have to get like a four X slim. <laughs> 
So that's what I want to get. Like I like I recently like my Nike hoodie I bought. Like when I slim down, I'm like, damn, this is how this hoodie's supposed to fit. Like it's a fitted hoodie. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. It's, I'm good. I feel I look good in it. I like looking good in sports go. shit attire. I, that's what I like looking good in. They say you, you got to get a 34 inch inseam for your size. Yeah, so you got to get it tall. Yeah, it's so you can get, but you can get them in extra like X double XL and you don't have to get like a four XL because you it's not your waist size. So you'll four have four your drawstrings will come down to your kneecaps. But it'd be like a four X slim. I'll let both of y'all niggas know when y'all whenever y'all do get married though. Nothing off the rack. Go off the get rack. off the rack. Get your shit fucking tailored. Oh, I, anytime I buy shirts, all that. Well, I know my shirt size now, so I don't have to get tailored. But when I go to get my pants and, hmm. and jackets, I always get tailored. That's why I go there. I let them tailor me up just so I can sit there. I'll be on the phone feeling like a businessman. <laughs> yeah, do my thing. The last, when, I, when I did my daughter's, when I got clothes for my daughter's uh, dance, I was chilling with the boy we was talking. And he was like, he was really like, tailoring me like yes. all right well what you looking for what you got going on Boy yeah. almost sold me a hat <laughs> he was like you want a cane so i'm like nigga what's what you, you want a cane <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm wow. like i'm like all right you trying to all right, I'm, like, you get, I'm like oh, you get commission but he i mean they don't get so commission off the nothing. rack though because off the rack meaning like you go into a store, you look for your yeah, size Jack, pants yeah, on the jaw, and, and then they tell you in the back. Yeah, I but, always get my shit done like but that. But if you're buying a suit, like if you're getting a, wedding a, suits, yeah, stuff like that, like vacations, you get tailored. You, you got a nigga cut the fabric out, like you gonna cut. Nah, the what pants happens out. is they'll hem and everything yeah, to your specific. You come back yeah. a week later or so that's and pick your shit up. That's how I always got my shit done. I never take off the rack. I always, nah, there's I always buy shit to lift inside. I've seen you look like you were off the rack. I've seen, I've seen us all look like we were off the rack before yeah there's i mean i've bought shit off the don't get it twisted it's not i go not, he's back. not saying this is it's back most of the time off the rack <laughs> but it's what, what he's trying to say is when it comes to special <laughs> occasions like a wedding or so oh, but yeah you I always get a go back I, you, i'm not buying a suit i'm probably get a rental i always go back there i always go back like i get a jacket i'm like yo him this shit up you know fit it to me i don't want to be like the guy trying to check check my arms and like make sure this is the right length take a little bit out i'm trying to get right by the summer so you gotta go to the gym, like I, I like, like you don't see I how I look. When I, I when I, I go, I'm, gonna, I'm about to change this whole diet up. I I'm, told my wife she's already, she anticipating the bullshit. Yeah, so I'm about to be on. It's cool. Going crack is pretty shopping. cheap nowadays, so I think it'll be. Y'all right. gonna see how I look, dog. When I take my He's my formal so pictures, crack? I'm gonna send. I'm gonna take my shit. I'm gonna send it back. Like I'm gonna look right that night. I got some, <laughs> like I said, I got some cufflinks and everything, dog. Like I, I told him take a lot of pictures. Yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures. Like I, I'm gonna, I got. I'm going to look nice for that night. I, I was going to buy a hat. I like, don't want to buy one of them old zoot suit top hat shits these niggas be wearing now with the fucking purple underneath the Go in with frame. a do rag. Oh, you don't it's... fuck with the. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's not a top hat, though, bro. That's like a. I, um, I forget which one that is. It says zoot no, suit hat. Be, a fedora? Nah, that'll nah, be fedora. fucking. You want to go in with smaller. a fedora? A fedora is smaller, but either one would actually. Nah, yeah. A fedora, you'd Put get a hat on. on, bro. Nah, you know why I don't want <laughs> to get the little fedora where you could grab, pinch the. Pinch the front, I, you know I was, what I'm saying? I remember when Fedora's was in, and I, I had a picture when Fedora's was in, and I looked at that shit, and now I'm like, why ain't nobody tell me not to... I got a Fedora upstairs, like, why ain't nobody <laughs> tell me not to buy this hat? Like, these hats don't... Hats like this... Hats don't... Hats don't age well unless they're baseball caps. Baseball caps is the know, only... Knicks, yo, we got to give you a Knicks Fedora. Nah. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> this is the only thing that... Fitness is the only thing that age right. If you buy a, a nice, if like all my fittings that I had to throw away, if I still own them fucking fittings, I can put them shits on now. If oh, I kept I them know. in condition, I had them in. Not because I didn't buy my hats extra big and baggy shit. I bought my hats to fit my head. I got my hat size. I could put them shits on niggas like, damn, where you get that fit? No Mitchell no. and Ness. They was Mitchell and Ness. One day was all Mitchell and Ness. I always bought at the Mitchell and Ness store. That's because hats and still I bought my hats, hats, just like hats this. retro, just like sneakers retro. Yeah, they they cool. make the older them. hats, right? But they make them and they, they'll put, they'll date them. You know what I mean? And and, and then they try, upcharge for them too. Yeah. Like you can get a, you can get a newer hat for like 30. I can't believe how expensive hats can get, but you can get a newer hat for like 35 but they'll sell like them retro, especially like if they I'm World mad. Series Yankee hats or something. They're just like 50, 60 bones. I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? But but with that suit you got with the with the designs on the jacket, I, I just I just thought, yo, you could take it back, bring some real retro shit back and get one of the the uh tennis visors. But the tennis, you know, 
put the no. tennis visor on that on the on the shit. <laughs> what? Nah. You get the tennis visor like the nah. Nike John. Nope. Gonna get you like the Serena Williams. Hey, yo, song. they'll kick you off that fucking boat. Them niggas will throw me off. Come with that you fuck off. Hey, yo, nah, yeah, yo. Fuck off the shave boat with that shit. Shave your shit, because I know no. you're going to shave your my shit. Your shit going to be super my clean. Shit, my shit clean, right? Look at that shit now. That's what I'm saying. Your shit going to be... Well, you're going to have to shave it again before then. You know that. Oh, yeah. I, I, but but I'm shave your shit, right? You get the visor, put the joint on backwards. You know no, what I'm saying? No. That's why I'm letting my beard grow now. I'm <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to the barber. I'm going to the barber and let him line me up the right way. That's why I, I haven't dyed you. my fucking gray. I'm hoping that this gray soul patch grows in nice and solid a solid fucking Two gray. No, nah, I'm in talking about a couple of years. Like it grows a solid gray that it like that I can grow a full beard. And I got this. Why don't you just get some gray. just for men? Nah, I'm cool with it like it is. You just need it for a week. I just, I'm just like, dude, I know I'm 40, but I don't want to look like, I see niggas 40. You can be wearing that in gold, the patch down that gold the middle with the much. just for men. Yeah, I know that, but I, I see niggas that's 40 that go, that go to men's warehouse too much and be buying too many of them old shiny ass shirts and slacks. I'm like, yo, you doing too much, bro. You doing too much. Shiny shirt? And then I see niggas, then I see dudes that go overboard with the sweatsuits. Like, you drawing, son. Like, like the Nike Jones, like no, why you got like why your shit like is like you got like paint dripping, like you know like the niggas have like the multicolored sweatsuits, they got like Bugs Bunny on their shit or some shit like that. Like you're going <laughs> too fucking overboard. Be normal, my nigga. Don't be no, hey, be normal, be you, be you, but don't have your kids like, like you know dads and kids be like oh, fucking dad. Like, Nobody wears some sneakers no more. Nobody wears that. Why you? Why you got that on? Like I don't want to be that. Why you got that on, nigga? Like I like. I don't go there, I like. Do that I, with my I dad. keep up with the fashion that's in, but I dress my. Age. You know what I can appreciate about my pop is that he'll text me and be like, he'll ask me about reputable with sneaker sites. <laughs> Period. My dad don't give. I tell you this. My dad don't give a fuck about what I think, but he'll text me when he got some hot. Fun fact. So I took my dad to the Sixers game. Uh, it was more of a Christmas present, but tickets got mixed up. So we ended up getting an upgrade to the Celtics game. Dope, right? He can upgrade it. <clears throat> we, we, we go to the Celtics game together. Well, he meets me there. I had It was the same day as my daddy daughter dance. Like I said, a bunch of shit happening at once. Life, right? So I ended up doing both the same day. I meet him at the Sixers game. I go in there. I didn't know what to wear, so I wore my NBA jersey and I wore my 76ers hoodie. I was ready to overdo it. I get in there. I'm walking. You know when you when you get in your seat, you know how tight it is when yeah. you got to squeeze between. I'm getting in there at the end of the first quarter. I'm squeezing in. I'm squeezing in. I got my cherry 11s on, and I'm looking down so I can make sure I don't step on nobody's feet or bust my ass and fall down to the bottom of the rows and as i look i'm walking past i see somebody else with some chair 11s on i was going to point at him like yo dog nice kicks i look up it's my pop my dad smiled at me like what's up and i'm like yo you got my sneakers on here like yeah you like them <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> and that that right there let me know like yo my pops that's i know i get a sense of fashion from my pops you know what i'm saying because i remember back in the day i used to try to wear his kicks and all that shit when i was younger you know what i mean sneak in wear a couple pair of kicks he used to have some fire nikes that's, that's and it. now i see him he he go he goes and gets jays off a of goat i be and he'll ask me like yo should i buy a pair of kicks off here they look like they got a nice sale Nah, dad, don't do that. They probably try and get your money. You know what I mean? Either that or your sneak is going to be fake. You know what I mean? Just stick to what we know. I'll give you some sites. And then he'll hit me up like, yo, I just got these. I just got these. I'm like, yo, my pop got a nice little collection now. You know what I mean? But when it comes to suits, you know, my dad like Steve Harvey when it comes to the suits and the formal wear. That man closet is stupid. I remember back, back in the day, he had the mustard suit, the mustard colored John with the tie. My dad was... Debonair back in the day. That's all he used to wear. And then and he used to go to work and that's all he used to wear as well. You know, he was formal mm -hmm. wear all the time. Briefcase to work type guy. Now he teaches. You know what I mean? And still, well, he'd be home half the time. So I imagine he probably dressed from the waist up. But he he that's just the life that he used to live. He uh was formal all the time and, and got to um and got to dress down on the weekends, but you kind of feel where you, you get a sense of, of what you like from when, especially like when I go to see my pop and he, 
there's a couple times we done worn the same sneakers. And I'll be like, all right, I got to, when I start coming to see him, I got to wear something <laughs> out the box because he over here trying to take my shot. He makes sure I get, he get there first. So when I come in there, I copy over him. Like, yeah, you That's my hilarious. son type shit. Like, nah, chill. Bro, you got like, yeah, but, but yeah, yeah but, but we know where the phone calls and the text <laughs> messages go when it come down to it. You know what I mean? But it's a good feeling, though, to, to know that you ain't got to deal with that type of stuff from a parent. He kind of got his own style, confident with his style. He could dip and dabble in, in both in both areas, you know what I mean? And keep it simple. He got he got some fly sweatsuits, too. Yeah, he likes sweats. And he's, he got some nice Nike tech, too. Like, man, I be, I be forgetting my dad got money. <laughs> I'm saying, I be forgetting my dad work hard, got money. <laughs> that's what we had, though. We got, we got the shit we couldn't afford. Like, you should you should buy the shit that makes you look good and that you like. For sure. like, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah. Like, like, I hate to go with home. I hate to go with home, my yeah, brother. Yeah. Oh, or not. I'm about to go with this nigga. My brother K. Nigga Who? KB. Who? I think he's getting better. I think he's, he's going he's better. Good with it. He's good with his style, but he took me you to You know the, what you're talking about. He took me to the sneaker, John. I'm like. Oh, God. Who? My brother. Oh man! So I'm looking at these shit. I love KB, but you. Gotta... <laughs> he's getting brother. better though. He's yes, he is. No, he, yeah, he's, he is. Yo, he he's like you know what? Yeah. I, I like bro. You got stuff. We've had conversations, and at the end of the conversation, he was like, "My shit ain't all the way right." And I'm like, nah, <laughs> "I got." I said, "I got them jaws." In. Nah, <laughs> he was like, "All right, nah, no." <laughs> ain't all the way right. But I love him for that though. You know what I mean? My joint ain't all the way right, is it? It was like them jokes ain't all the way right. Like nah, cause brother, like you gonna buy some? He's like you gonna nah, buy some kicks out here? I love said, you, but nah. they not right, cause I got the like, joints at the crib. He's like you gonna buy sneakers? I said, no. yo, you got a little here. bit of extra shit in your design. Like, like, you know, was, <laughs> like yo, these boxes, a little bit. these boxes is not matching up with the sneakers, though. <laughs> like these boxes, that's crazy. Like these, wait, what? The, these are the air, the, the airs, the airs boxes. Why they got? Why, Man, chill, why they chill trying to? Like, why they trying to steal a Nike tag and throw it on? This is hey, airs yo, box. I ain't done, right, bro. Chill. <laughs> chill. I'm like, I'm not buying that out there. I said, I'm gonna order my shit. I know he's got some fire well, shit. Oh, Don't get it twisted. No, no, he's he got, got some fire shit. He got Blow, a pair, but, but he's got some Johns where he he might have got got on. You know yeah, what I mean? Somebody might have ran off on the plug. I don't know. You got a pair. You got a pair. Of nice. A lot of dunks. old places don't exist no more. So it's like I don't know where he going. You know what I mean? But they used to, listen. I used to shop at the spots <clears> like when I was younger. Where? Go don't get it twisted. Pal, back Pal, in the Mar, day, we used to go to Palmar, Mark, Pensac, and Mark. All them yeah. joints. Yeah. We were fucking drawing. Yeah. <laughs> like you had to wear. When we were like, young, when we were young, hey, yo, try it. Come on. Why not? Why not? Yo, shit. When iPhones we first came out, they were selling iPhones and bitches too. You know what I'm saying? And we all bought the fake Jones because you was only spending like 50, 60 yeah, bucks on the phone. Bro, I'm not I, spending no three hundred dollars on no, the phone. I'm I had dead, a couple of broke I, shit. Dre came in front. Dre had a pair of fifty dollar Tims that he kept clean for yeah, forever. Yeah, <laughs> knowing these yeah, shits is not the yeah. authentic. Now boy. when you now when you were working now when you work hard for your money, oh, yeah, you boy, ain't I going out there no those more. Those like you, I need the authentic, huh? Those I wore to work, by the way. Nah, I wore those was... Tims to work. After you got done wearing them shits in the. Street. To the club, <laughs> the couple of times he went. <laughs> yo, yo, call me, hey, call me naive. Call me naive. I didn't, I didn't think it was fake at first. I wasn't <laughs> used to, I wasn't used to that. I'm like, oh, they steal them. Is what mm -hmm. I thought. I said they steal them. Some do, and I'm getting them shits at the word. They steal them. I never think uh, that the they only places fake. we went, we went to go New York. We used to go, go to New, New York, York when we York, were kids. We would get them. some social, but yeah, there was they also some. They were they were also mixed in with the rooms yeah, that yeah. were that were for gazes, You know what I'm saying? But when we was kids, we didn't give a fuck. Yeah, man, what a trash bag full of clothes for two hundred dollars? We yeah, out. You know what I mean? Good. Like dog, I remember coming to school with a fake Kooji sweater. Swore I had the real jewel. Them shits used to unravel. Yeah, they unravel. Niggas like grab yarn. my shit. I'm like, what the fuck off my shit? Like, you grab Somebody my shit grabbed, grabbed the tip of his jaw, kept walking to class, and his arm missing. <laughs> <laughs> bro. But I didn't yeah, have no money. Like, shit. nigga, I didn't have no money. Niggas, said, bro. niggas yeah. had coochie sweat. I'm like, yeah, both, both your parents live in the house. Like, I'm sorry. I don't. My used mom. My mom. It's just my mom. And my mom. It's four of us. Like, my mom is. I respect my mother because my mother kept the lights on, food in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have the shit like I didn't have the shit I wanted in high school. 
But as a dad now, that's why my son, like, I try to, like, I order him some J's offline. Or some jaws. I ordered some nice shit. I ain't know like, Palmyra had a uh, had an online section. Nah, <laughs> yo, Kev yeah, gave, Kev gave me the for himself. Kev gave me the sneaker. <laughs> I, the, the sneaker jaws. You remember the sneaker app? You gave? I'm joking, dog. Yeah, back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I, I ordered my we son. used to get Mac. We uh, we stopped when you do that last order, and then you realize they must have shut that joint down because ain't no sneakers show up. Todd did a my little cousin Todd did an order. And he called me like, yo, it's been three months. They ain't sent my kicks yet. I'm like, yo, it's time for you to stop using that site. Cause, you know what I mean? Nah, but I, you couldn't be you couldn't be that mad because you was getting J's for what? what was it 40, 50 bucks? What? Any any style you wanted, it, it was Fugazis. Oh, yeah. Listen, it was Fugazis. That's what you're talking about. The online site, you get nah, like nah, two nah, for I'm talking about so I got the real no, joke. I was saying oh, I was at Pomeroy. Oh, you were talking about Fugazis. You're talking about, I'm talking about back when we was kids. When nah, we was nigga, I was just going to Pomeroy, dog. Buying some cheap ass Air Force ones, knowing like, yo, I'm about to spend twenty dollars, twenty five dollars. We some would go ones. together. Yeah, that was our yeah. Saturday trips. If we was yeah. fucking off together, yeah. Saturday, <laughs> yo, you going to Palmyra Mart? Yeah, bro. All right, the whole family going. I'm going with y'all. Yeah, the whole the bang. Go there, Shirts, knowing socks. I don't mean, I mean, know about Robin's jeans. I got some Robin's jeans from them before. I thought them you shoes was mean? the flyest thing they were. But everything you could get, we was getting yeah. phone cases. Oh, bro. We was getting one stop yeah, shop. Get yeah. something to eat. We'd be there for four oh, hours. Dog, I had, I had like four or five pairs of jabos. We should have known, known that something I'm was like, wrong when they. Now my jabos is still legit because my jabos is still good. I read monkeys and shit. Mean, I'm pretty sure that they had, there were some boosters there. I mean, I you could, some... But the thing about it is when you went to Palmyra Mart and you went to one side, if they were selling jeans for twenty dollars and you see the same jeans over there for ten dollars, you ain't thinking about they real or not. You assume everything <laughs> fake. Let me get them ten dollar Johns then. What you talking about? You know yes. what I mean? Not knowing so that you religions. So many true religions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And then you so realize they ain't the same fit. You, get, you, you take them home and some of them just, so they be the same exact type of pants, but they ain't fit the same. You're like, damn, why did you feel a little weird? Did I have, what was it the joint I had? Was it true religion? I had like a, like a the rocker, whole rocker wear sets yeah, out of them bro, I, state like, property clothes. I couldn't afford the real, I couldn't afford the real shit. I said, yo, I'm going to take $100 out or two hundred dollars a pound mar, and I'm gonna have a whole wardrobe for the summer. Be fly as shit for the whole summer until Nobody niggas knew. get up close on your shit and look at shit and shit ain't matching yeah. up. Nobody knew for me. Yeah. Niggas was niggas. We knew that was out there. So yeah. niggas can't even fraud. Niggas put me on Palmyra. Why I put y'all on Palmyra? I know. Yeah. I still I still ain't forgive you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, this nigga put me on. This is the best shit ever. And then I started realizing. Luckily, I don't think I was with my girl like that um, the whole time because I probably would have bought her shit from there. I would have flamed you. The one thing I never want to do is buy my, buy my wife fake shit, bro. I'm sorry. Never in my life do Yo, I want to buy her fake shit. Ever. Let me put, tell you who put me on the Palmyra. It was my girl at the time who put me on the shit. She was like, "Yo, go to." Palmyra, she's buying shit from there. So what's this? All your clothes. Bro, I said, oh shit, I'm get me some air. I'm get me some ones. I see, oh, they got Tim's for 50. I ain't paying $100 for no Tim's. Pay $50. Yo, not low. And like, that's all you were thinking about. That's though, all because... I was thinking. Like, all right, these shits don't look too bad. You can't tell. But then niggas, but then you always got the niggas who got money that want to go deep investigation. Oh, your tag got stitches. There ain't supposed to be no stitches on the tag. The stitches is hidden. What the fuck off my tag on my shirt, pussy? Fuck wrong with you? Don't touch my shirt. Cut. I used niggas like that used to get me mad. Niggas grab your tag and your shirt. I slap the head. I get the fuck off my tag, dog. Type shit you and we grown ass men. Don't touch my you tag. You want to see the inside? I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But that, but yeah. yo, man, I'm just glad we came a long way from then. Like I am not. I'm I not, tell you that once that one, once that that one good time that somebody caught you lagging with some with some fugazi gear on and they got on your ass, them Jones were gone. Got rid of them Jones. Started with a different type of fugazi. I'm gonna give me some five dollars. Got flame. You got flame really hard. Like yo, that shut that. And then next thing you know, you know you lost that flame session. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt got to go. Them jeans got to go. Whatever it was, they got to go. Nah, listen, I still buy me some five dollar fucking sunglasses. I still buy me phone oh, cases. I don't care about there. that. I mean, I got a couple. I don't care about the little I got pouches. A, like I, I got an expensive pair of sunglasses, and then I got a pair of like forty dollars sunglasses. But they're yeah. just. I mean, the expensive pair I got, I got them on sale. But even that, that was when we went to Mexico, and then 
I got it because we were becoming we were part of a package. So I took the deal because it was like three hundred dollars off. But okay. But other than that, and then I lost them. I couldn't find them. We're on our way to going to to, to visit you and and for my wife's birthday, I lost them, George. That's remember I bought the uh. Were we in the mall together when I bought? The, oh no, you didn't go with us then. Uh, I bought the mall together. I bought the guests. The guests. Uh, I was with glasses. You. I was with you. Yeah, yeah. But I bought the guest glasses, right? Okay. I man, we had a. It was a long day. We had a good time. Yeah, I'm missing good. the whole point with these niggas. Cheap, I'm missing the whole point. Got some cheap glasses. In. I know three hundred dollars off. Yeah. All. So <laughs> shit's yeah. three hundred dollars all. They like two racks for these glasses. What? I, no, no. My glasses came out to be like two hundred and fifty dollars. So. What we have to dispel, and then we can wrap this whole shit up. What we have to dispel as grown men, because you pay a lot of money for something, doesn't mean that you're stupid, doesn't mean that you're careless with money, doesn't mean it means that you know quality and quality is important. Spend the money, spend the money where you deem it to be important. So we all talk about people who wear Gucci. No, if I'm living in an apartment. And my car is breaking down, or I don't have an, a, a car, or all this other type of shit. Then no, I don't need to be wearing Gucci. If all my bills is paid, shit is fucking done. Like I'm good, and I make a good amount of money at my job, or what I deem to be a good amount of money, and I decide, oh shit, I like that Gucci shirt for five hundred dollars. Me, it's nothing wrong with buying it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with buying it and wearing it. Black people do that shit to each other. Oh, this nigga, man, he ain't even got. Listen. That's not my style. I don't wear Gucci or anything like that, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with if you do buy something nice, like a nice pair of sunglasses or my thing would be maybe a nice watch for yeah. maybe a couple yeah. thousand dollars. <clears throat> but it's a nice watch. It's a timepiece. You can pass it down to your son. You know what I'm saying? Like this real things that, no, this is quality and I paid for quality and that's important to me. So I yeah. do want people to understand that about fashion. You can spend a lot of money on something that's okay. Just make sure everything else is taken care of in your life before you do that. That's it. Fuck y'all too. Wrap this. That's it. Wrap this up. Peace. <laughs> damn. Fuck us too. God damn, son. Peace. Why'd you sneak a piece in there? <laughs>